when I uh, did a <clears throat> video to uh, YouTube, 3rd of April this year, 2009, and I called it Machining a Model Steam Engine Frame Upright. Well, uh, the good news is that I finished the engine itself, and here it is. The bad news is that all of the uh, information in that video, uh, I'd got it wrong. And uh, I had to remake this central upright portion. This is the one that uh, I had to throw out. I'd made a fundamental design error. I got a little confused about mirror images. I got confused about shaft rotation and the biggest thing I got confused about was very simple. If you look at a rotating shaft from one direction it may be going around counterclockwise, look from the other direction, it's still rotating in the same direction but looking at it this way it's going around clockwise and that's a simple fact that I had uh, forgotten. Okay I'm going to now show you exactly what those mistakes were. This is the original piece that I showed you how to machine. Drilling 30 degree angled holes in. Very complicated because these little holes here did not connect with the little holes on the other side. They were only partially drilled in. The you can't see them now because they're blocked off, but if you can see this hole is drilled rather below the oscillating valve holes there and this one is above because the drill hole here and the drill hole there did not meet. We had these 30 degree angled holes so that <clears throat> this hole on this side was connected with the opposite hole on the other side. Very complicated. I did it <coughs> quite correctly in the sense that I had known that to have the two cylinders operating opposite each other on the same piece that this would be in effect you flip it over and compare it to the V engine that I made this would this side would be a mirror copy of the other side and then I thought if they're drilled all the way through then the problem is going to be that uh, the cylinder timing would try to move the crankshaft in opposite directions. Well, in fact, if you look at it, it's, it's, it's easier to understand if you see that, in effect, my problem was that I didn't want the timing to try to rotate the crankshaft in opposite directions but as I've already said if you look at one end it's going clockwise you go look at the other end it's going anti-clockwise in fact you do want it to operate in opposite directions very confusing you're probably confused well if that's so you can understand why I got confused I'm 80 now and I'm very easily confused, but the point is that when faced with the problem, it became obvious that we could solve the problem, and yes we can. Here is the finished engine. It's much neater than the V engine version. It is very free, it looks very nice, and I will in due time make a little video of uh, the engine in operation. It runs, I've tried that, but at this stage I'm just putting this uh, video together to explain why uh, I did one. I didn't want to mislead anybody, certainly uh, I'm a little surprised that people brighter than myself didn't notice the mistake. Well, perhaps they did. They said, oh, we'll catch this fella out when he gets his engine together. What his face is going to be red. Well, it was red for a short time. But now I've fixed it. Everything's going very nicely. 
and uh, so there we are. It just shows that if you make a mistake, you can always rectify it as long as you can figure out what the mistake was that you made. As long as you know what went wrong, you can correct it. Here's a little reversing valve, and uh, there it is. It's a nice little engine, it's finished, it works, and I'm very pleased with it.